Welcome to this preview of our session, Evidence to Prove Students Are Ready for What's Next. I'm Ferdy Serum, and I'll be joined by Dr. Yanti Friesem. What we're going to show in our workshop is how we use a model of civic media to introduce and have teachers apply universal design for learning to address learner variation, how to design instruction to include performance tasks that allow you to measure gains, and how to prove program effectiveness while building a body of evidence. This is critical for early college high schools. Our civic media model bridges classroom and career. The definition of civic media is any use of a medium that empowers a community to engage within and beyond the people, places, and problems of their community. Every project that's made solves a problem in the community. So our bridge starts at K-12, continues to higher ed, and is a great source of mentors for the students that are trying to become career ready. Local government can provide facilities and equipment. Most importantly, civic organizations are providing purpose. Local media is providing audience and employers are providing internships. So in our model, nothing is left to chance. It's a coordinated systemic approach. Our workshop model that we'll share with you has seven steps. These are things that you can implement your own after the workshop, but you'll get a taste in the workshop. Starting with an exercise, what teacher type are you? Then moving to what career ready practice do you use in your work? We'll then explore the Media Hive model to create a short video. And in terms of what we've done, we'll look at how we use English language arts, math, and the ISTE standards to create a successful project. Finally, we'll look at how do we use the universal design for learning principles of engagement, representation, action, and expression. In a little more detail, for UDL, when we look at learner variation, we're using the three brain networks. The affective networks, the why of learning, control engagement. The recognition networks, the what of learning, deal with representation. And the strategic networks of the brain are the how of learning, action and expression. All three of these are embraced in Dr. Yanti Friesen's model, the media production hive, shown here. At all stages, people are looking at the personal skills that are used, the collaborative skills on a team, and then the community skills in the procedures of creation. So we'll see how this model helps you embrace UDL in your practice. In terms of designing instruction to include performance tasks, we're looking at the levers model, which combines the experience level, task use level, and quality level. This allows us to have students have evidence of three claims, that they've learned how to learn, that they can plan and manage their work, and that they can make high quality products working on a team, highly demanded by employers. The way we prove program effectiveness is to show how each competency reinforces the other. So claims about career competencies, whether they're soft skills or technical, are supported by the academic and by the digital, and we'll show the method of how we build this body of evidence. In general, we're helping students design their own learning. That means deciding what evidence you'll collect to show what you've learned to people who are going to make decisions about working with you. This is what your students will do as well. I look forward to seeing you at our workshop and at the conference.